dirt bike chain adjustment pro tips from Elevate Action Sports right now. Hey Jay here with Dirt Bike TV and Elevate. Today we're gonna to talk about adjusting your chain. Uh, it's a common thing that needs to be adjusted regularly so you wanna keep an eye on it. So it's really important that you have proper chain slack. This one's really big. We put a brand new chain on this bike and so we've left it loose and we're gonna, we're gonna adjust that right now. So, but once you learn where your chain slack should be, on this bike, they measure it right from here and your owner's manual will give you a spec. And you can see I put a little Sharpie mark here and how far up it's going. So ideally we want our chain to be ending in here. And so usually it's like a three finger thing in range in here, and, but you can't use that rule for every bike. Uh, KTM bikes with PDS are like a four finger range. And then the brand new 23 KTMs are uh, in that looser range as well. So you wanna check your manual and get a proper length. And once you have a proper length set up, you can actually use a bolt or something here and come up with a measurement that you can check it with if you like, once you have a good system. So our first step is to loosen the rear wheel. And we have a, a, a 32 on this, this ratchet. So we're gonna have our wheel loose and we can start adjusting our, our chain adjuster bolts. In our previous video on installing a new chain, we greased these and put anesthes on these bolts. That's a good idea to always do. With these bolts right here, so you have your, your nut right here, you wanna back this off and you can adjust this one like so. And for the purpose of this video, we're just gonna use the lines here, this mark, we're gonna use these lines as our reference. If you wanna be more exact, you'll see race team guys, they'll use calipers and measure from here to here to this, this machine metal surface from here to here and get a really accurate measurement from here to here and then do that on the other side as well so that your wheel is sitting perfectly straight. For most guys, just using the lines that are supplied is gonna be sufficient. So since this is a new chain install, I'm gonna just start, I'm at three lines right here, I'm gonna go check the other side and get it to the same spot and then see where I'm at. Okay, and I'm just snugging things. These nuts right here, you wanna keep a good grip on here. These are real common to get stripped. Guys will use, and if these get stripped at all, you'll wanna put a new one on uh, to have a new one on here. Okay, so we're at three on both sides. So now we're gonna check our adjustment here. It looks like it's getting really close. So as you can see in these owner's manuals, they'll give you a little distance from here to here, how much play it should have. And so now that we're tight, I'm gonna make a, a new dot. And in this case, it's ending right at the one. So that's pretty easy to follow. And it's gonna go up to one and a, 1.4, let's say. So we're really close. Uh, wanted one to one and three eighths. Can you feel this here? And I think we're just gonna go a tiny bit tighter. So I'm gonna grab this one. Now, if you have a, a small bike, like an 85, those numbers are drastically different as well. So again, you wanna check your, your, your specs. Now I'm gonna come in here and we're in good position. Now with a brand new chain, you're gonna get some really quick uh, wear. So you're gonna wanna check it really quick. Also, we only use a oil or a WD-40 type lube. We don't use a chain lube because a chain lube can grab more sand and dirt and work it in there and wear the chain out sooner. So we've got both of these snug now. And again, you don't wanna over tighten these. I put a rag in here. And what this rag does is pull the wheel right against these stops right here. And it's always important to make sure that you're chain blocks are in the correct way they were stock. And so now I can tighten the rear wheel. Okay, and so I just got it good and snug. You can check your tight proper torque spec. If you're not familiar with how to torque that, you can do it by checking the manual. Okay, so hopefully that helps you out on adjusting your chain. In our chain and sprocket uh, video, that gives you some more tips on how to check your chain is worn out or not. Having a worn out chain is very dangerous on your bike. If it's worn out, your teeth are worn out, it's very dangerous and can cause you to crash, get hurt if it derails. With a chain that's too loose, also that can happen as well. So you wanna be careful, that's really important that your chain is at a proper adjustment. If it's too tight, you're gonna wear out the transmission bearings, wear out the chain of sprockets more, and it doesn't let the rear of the bike, the suspension work properly. So that's why chain adjustment is very important. You wanna have that correct. 
in a muddy race, in muddy conditions, you might want it a tiny bit looser side than on your normal condition, so it leaves room for you to get that, for the mud to not pack up and cause problems. We've actually had times where your, your wheel can lock up from too much dirt or mud in there, and you have to break it loose. Sometimes we have to loosen the axle to get it all loose. So hopefully that helps you out on adjusting your chain. Check us out in some of the other videos. Know where you're going with the number one GPS app, accessing 500,000 miles of trails and roads, open dates and public lands. Plan your routes before you head out with the new state-of-the-art route builder. The Elite version even shows landowners and property boundaries. Download the Onyx off-road app today for a free seven-day trial. Also, to save 20%, use the discount code DBTV1.